Portland, Oregon is a decidedly out of the ordinary, vibrant and eccentric city. And Portlanders would not have it any other way. For many years, Portland has been affectionately referred to as weird. While it is frequently overshadowed by the much larger city of Seattle to the north, Portland remains one of the country's most distinctive metropolitan epicenters. The City of Roses is well known for its progressive liberal ideals, food trucks, and artsy, creative types. Join us on an exploration of some of Stumptown's best sites and attractions, Voodoo Donuts. You may be wondering why we have listed a donut shop as one of the top tourist attractions. Let us just say it right off the bat. Voodoo Donuts are unlikely to be the best donuts you have ever had, but they are certainly unique. Voodoo frequently appears on lists of top tourist destinations in the city, and as a result, there's almost always a line extending far past their front door. The donuts they make fresh every day are highly reflective of the city's overall weird vibe. You can eat maple bacon, Cap'n Crunch covered raised yeast donuts, or try something a little more adventurous, like a hibiscus frosted ring or maple frosted cinnamon sugar blunt shaped treat. Although these are not the absolute pinnacle of pastry perfection, visiting Voodoo is still an experience worth having at least once. If you prefer a more traditional donut, we also recommend Blue Star Donuts, a local favorite with several locations throughout the city. Pit Dock Mansion. This breathtaking French Renaissance style mansion, located on the west side of town, was built in 1914, the year that World War I began. A wealthy English family originally owned it and is now on the National Register of Historic Places. The 46 room estate sits on a well curated 40 acre plot of land and contains stunning pieces of art and furniture collected by the mansion's original owners. You can take a guided tour or explore the grounds alone. In any case, Petock Mansion provides visitors with a glimpse into the lives of one of Portland's most influential historic families, while also learning about the pioneer spirit that drove the city's transformation into a modern, industrialized city. If you are enjoying this video, please like it and subscribe to Travel Pug for more. Washington Park Washington Park is Portland's best. The International Rose Test Garden, Oregon Zoo, Portland Children's Museum, Hoyt Arboretum, Miles of Trails, and the largest Japanese garden outside of Japan are all here. Washington Park is only a 20-minute light rail ride from downtown, making it a great place to see Portland's greenery. The American Rose Society established the International Rose Garden in the park in 1917 to protect European-grown hybrid roses from World War I. The garden has over 10,000 rose bushes. It is the oldest U.S. public rose test garden. This historic garden helps make Portland the city of roses. Portland Art Museum. The Pacific Northwest's oldest art museum houses Oregon's best collection of international works. European masterworks, Japanese screen prints, and contemporary American art can be seen. The museum's Native American gallery has over 5,000 ancient and modern artifacts from 200 tribes in a beautiful sculpture garden, where visitors can relax and admire these majestic stone creations. This world-class art museum deserves time to explore. Visitors can get lost in its three connected buildings and extensive collection. Maps help you find your favorite exhibits. Powell's City of Books. This is the world's largest independent used bookstore with over a million books. It first opened its doors in 1971 and spans an entire city block. There is no way you will be able to explore all 3,500 sections of the store, but it is a great place to spend a couple of hours exploring and looking for a good read. We recommend concentrating on just a few sections that pique your interest. If not, it is easy to feel lost in the shuffle. Oregon Museum of Science and Industry 
The Oregon Museum of Science and Industry is a fun place to spend a few hours if you're traveling with kids, and it is raining during your trip. The museum's interactive exhibits make studying interesting and engaging. This is not your run-of-the-mill science museum. It has five stories and eight hands-on labs packed with exhibits on everything from physics to paleontology to chemistry and more. If you're not a parent but still like to act like a kid sometimes, you will have a great time here. Forest Park. Forest Park, the largest urban park in the United States, is located just 10 minutes from the heart of downtown on the northeastern edge of town. With its 5,000 acres of natural forest and 70 miles of trails for hiking and biking, Forest Park is a great place to get away from the city without having to travel far. The area is home to over 60 species of mammals and well over 100 species of birds. There's also the Witch's Castle, a crumbling castle of stone covered in bright green moss, Freaky Butcher, Peculiarium, and Museum. Portlanders have always taken great pride in their city's reputation as weird to the point where Keep Portland Weird has become something of an unofficial motto. If you want to take home a memento that captures the weird character of the city, head to this museum and gift shop. This quirky little museum has bizarre and hilarious displays reminiscent of larger auditoriums, like Ripley's Believe It or Not. The weird and bizarre surprises that wait around every corner will captivate you. You will probably have a great time touring this proudly bizarre facility. Whether you are an adult fan of horror, or science fiction, or a child with a vivid imagination. Columbia River Gorge. If you need to get outside for some fresh air and exercise, it is hard to imagine a more beautiful setting for this activity. The largest national scenic area in the United States is located along the Columbia River Gorge. The Gorge, which is about an hour's drive east of the city, is a fantastic destination for those seeking adventure and some of the region's most breathtaking views. Multnomah Falls, Oregon's tallest waterfall, Bridal Veil Falls, Oregon's second tallest waterfall, and the Vista House, an observatory that has stood for a century, are all worth visiting. Pearl District. One of Portland's trendiest areas is the former site of a dilapidated warehouse district. Cafes, art galleries, boutiques, eateries, and breweries line the streets of this hip neighborhood. It is one of the city's best nightlife scenes by day, and it is also a great place to grab a cup of coffee or some lunch. Craft beer fans should go to Deschutes Brewery Public House to enjoy delicious food and a wide variety of rotating and experimental draft beers. Have you visited any of the destinations we just covered? Or do you know of any sites and attractions in Portland that we fail to mention that you think deserve a shout out? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you take a moment to show us a little support by giving this video a like and subscribing to Travel Pug 